11 News has learned about a possible groundbreaking treatment for autism right here in Louisville. Coastal Children's Hospital and the University of Louisville are planning a study of that new therapy. And it comes after a local mother reached out to Coastal Hospital for help. WHAS Loves Joe Arnold has the exclusive details tonight from the newsroom. Joe, what happened here? Well, Gary, first of all, to be clear, this is not a cure for autism, but it is a rare glimmer of hope for parents of autistic kids. The medical director at COSAIR tells me this treatment could be life-changing. Uh, if we find out this is as good as Mrs. Riggle thinks it is, um, and what we've seen, then it, it, it will be a huge impact. Tag. Hey, thank you. The parents of seven-year-old Evan Riggle have been dealing with his autism since he was one. We have chronicled their search for effective treatments, including rare blood transfusions to boost his immune system. But Evan is far more receptive to this IV of glutathione, an amino acid in your body which neutralizes harmful molecules. So by helping boost their own natural glutathione uh, production, it reduces the oxidative stress in their body and they are less combative, they are more calm, and therefore generally more cooperative. As it was, the Riggles didn't know how long they were going to be able to care for Evan. I mean, Evan was getting bigger and stronger every day, um, and I wasn't. Glutathione has been talked about for years in alternative medicine. In February of last year, the Riggles brought their research to COSAIR. I have to tell you, I was very skeptical. Even today, Dr. Wright is very careful not to give false hope. Parents of autistic children are desperate for any answers. The, the problem with that is that the patients and their families then become susceptible to charlatans and people who want to take advantage of them, just make a quick buck off of somebody's bad fortune. But Evan's experience prompted COSAIR to give the glutathione therapy to three other kids. And Wright says two of them have also shown remarkable progress, including an eight-year-old boy. It's after about three or four treatments, his, uh, visited him when he was here. His mother said he dressed himself for the first time in his life. It has made a life-changing difference. Is Evan cured? No. Is he better? Yes. And progress is what we need in this area of autism. The next step, a study with 50 autistic children. Even if we see in half the patients what we've seen in these four, um, it, it would be remarkable for hundreds, thousands of, of families. I'm, I'm a stay-at-home mom. I mean, I'm just a mom that cares about my kids, but obviously um, I feel incredibly humbled that you know, they took me seriously and really looked into the research and that we've gotten to the place where we are.